Ah, what a beautiful day of spring, but I still don't have any sneakers to wear. How do I know if it's a good sneaker for spring? These trees are dead. Oh shit, that was easy. What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny, and let me guess. You got a day with that shorty over there, and you are probably wondering what are the best sneakers to wear for spring. Oh wait, actually, you're probably just wondering about the second half, but hey, on the low, Cherry Blossom Festival with the shorty, that's the move, man. And as a disclaimer, these are just some of my favorite sneakers, and I'm definitely gonna miss them, so shut up. So I'm just gonna get the first one out of the way, that is the Common Projects Achilles Low. Or for the broke boys, the alternative. So the white leather sneaker is and always will be a classic. They're super versatile, very clean, and will go with any aesthetic from your dapper fellas to the street fashion enthusiasts. You can just never go wrong with these. Now, if you can't afford these, I get it, man. So there are some alternatives from New Republic or Koyo. They make the same exact sneaker without the gold lettering on the side. And you can even find these for under $100. So the next sneaker up is a lifestyle runner, the New Balance 997. So if you're like me and you're getting incredibly bored with seeing Ultra Boost and, uh, NMDs, <coughs> who still buys these? Well, you can switch it up for a cheaper runner, the New Balance 997s. And what I like about these is you're going to stand out because most dudes don't wear New Balances. They're pretty comfortable and very versatile if you guys have seen my How to Style Runners video. You guys know the Lifestyle Runner is a staple for any person's wardrobe. There are a ton of colorways, models, and collaborations. My favorite model is the 997S, which is the sports version. And I actually would roll with a more colorful model because the white ones would look kinda meh. These are pretty affordable sneakers, so if you guys wanna switch it up, roll with the New Balances. Third sneaker comes from Nike, and I'm gonna put two sneakers on this list because it just depends on your preferences. So we got the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbos, that is a mouthful, and we got the Epic React Flyknits 2.0. So both of these sneakers feature React technology, however the Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo also features zoom cushioning. And with the combination of these two technologies, I do hear that it does rival Boost technology in terms of comfortability. And by the way, I don't hate Ultra Boost, fellas. I just see that everyone and their mother has a pair. Hell, even my grandma has a pair. Now, in terms of React cushioning itself, I do have a pair of Nike Element 87s, and these are extremely comfortable. They are a bit more firm than Boost technology, and I kind of like that because with Ultra Boost, it can feel a bit mushy. Now, the Epic React Flyknits are a clean all-around sneaker, and I don't see very many people rocking it in the streets. They also have a ton of colorways as well. And the Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo does have a lot of colorways as well, but they're very bold colorways. Either way, I like both silhouettes. Next up is probably the most affordable silhouette out there, the Vans Authentics, or the Vans Old Schools in the all-white colorway. So if you guys aren't all about the Common Projects white leather sneaker look, then Vans are your thing, man. The white canvas just screams springtime, bro. These sneakers look great when they're crisp clean, so clean them every few wears, or they look dope if they're very beat and worn in. It adds character to the shoe. And Vans in general look great with track pants, zipper denim, cuff pants, or shorts. But please, bro, rock them with no-show socks or long crew socks. If you wear Vans with mid-cut socks, you're probably someone that thinks Falcon is the strongest Avenger. What's wrong with you? Now, if you're not a fan of your standard all-white leather sneaker, and you're also not a fan of white Vans, but you still want a white sneaker, I definitely suggest the Air Force Ones. Now, last but not least are the Adidas Continental 80s. But Johnny, aren't these just Reebok ripoffs? <sighs> you sound like every Instagram commenter that hates on any shoe that gets released. Adidas owns Reebok, homie. Anyways, the Continental 80s take inspiration from the Reebok Workout Classics. Actually, they're pretty much the same thing. You just get the Adidas branding. Now I have the Yeezy Power Phases, which are pretty much the same thing, just with the Yeezy branding. And I gotta tell you, man, these are still one of my favorite sneakers to wear right now. They are my most worn and most versatile sneaker. I can rock them with cargos, track pants, distressed denim, pants, they'll literally go with anything. Now the Continental 80s have more colorways and the leather is a bit stiffer, but other than that, I'm gonna put all these in one category. The Yeezy Power Phases, the Continental 80s, and the Reebok Workout Classics, they're all the same thing. Now this list is not complete with some honorable mentions. So we're gonna start off with the first honorable mention, it is the Nike Air Max 270s. These are basically Nike's NMDs. You know how Adidas released hella colorways of the NMDs? Nike's pretty much marketing the shit out of these. But there is no doubt that the silhouette of these are fire. My favorite colorway is the Death the cactus one right now, but there are a ton out there for your pickings. Next sneaker is the Yeezy 700 in the Inertia colorway. This is a super clean silhouette and colorway. Definitely will stand out and is of a pastel colorway, which is perfect for spring. And yes, I know I missed a ton of colorways, so uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. No, for real though, these are just my favorite silhouettes. You guys roll with what you like. Otherwise, follow me on Instagram. It is fly with Johnny Ty. And until then, stay fly and I'm out, bruh. Peace. Really, I'm not walking out because the mic's right in front of me and I right, peace out guys.